All right, guys, how you doing? Uh, happy Memorial Day. Uh, this video is uh, going to be about MRI externship. And, you know, you're pretty much getting close to being done with your uh, schooling, probably getting into the physics part, and you're, you're starting your externship. And usually, you know, externship is probably about six, seven months long. And you do about 32 hours a week or more. Um, if you are working another job and doing this, like how I did it, it's going to be pretty hard. Pretty hard, man. I ain't going to lie. So you're going to have to get sleep when you can uh, on your lunch. You know, you're going to be up all night probably studying, you know. So try to get a good at least six, seven hours of sleep at least. You know, if you can get a full eight hours, perfect. Because when you do your, your externship, you want to be wide awake. Uh, maybe drink some coffee. Uh, you know, you just want to be alert and you want to be awake. No one's going to care that you have another job. But if you're acting, you know, tired over there, lazy, making, you know, mistakes. But, you know, first week on externship, uh, know your anatomy very well, you know. Uh, kind of have an idea, uh, you know. On the setup, you know, setting a patient up, like, you know, like, say, for instance, the brain, uh, you got to know where the landmark, you know, the nasion in between the, you know, the nose and the eyes, you know, right in that middle. And, you know, just stuff like that, you know, you got to know how you're going to set up uh, a lumbar spine, you know, near the pelvic crest, you know, just know your anatomy, you know, when you're going to set up, at least have an idea, you know. Uh, know your basic, you know, planes, you know, transverse plane, or a lot of them called just axial plane, coronal, sagittal. Know your planes. They're going to say, they're going to show you like a brain in the axial. You know, they're going to be like, what plane is this? You know, what plane is this? Oh, it's sagittal, you know. If you can know your weighting, T1, T2, basic stuff like that going in, that's a, that's a good look, uh, just take a lot of notes. Take good notes. I highly suggest if they let you take pictures of the the, the way that the scans are set up, uh, so you can see the scan positioning and all that. If you can take pictures of that, you know, of course, you don't want to get any patient information in there, but just at least see how you know a picture of like the setup of the scan. You know where your slices are. You get those pictures. You print them out. You put them in a notebook. I'll probably show you my guy, uh, you, you guys my notebook on how I have pictures of the scans and how they're set up. Uh, and you know, you want to have no good notes and no, or if you can draw good, draw it. But I highly recommend the pictures with the slices and all that. Um, you know, when there's downtime, you want to ask questions. Uh, you want to get familiar with the different coils you're going to be using, and at least. You know, the first week, get an idea of what coils to use, you know, brain coil, L-spine coil, um, wrist coil, knee coil. Get an idea of where those are at, how to set them up, you know, what kind of cushions, pads you need. Uh, then you get into, uh, like, screening the patients, you know, greet them. Uh, you know, you're getting the medical history... And being able to like link their sy symptoms to the scan you're doing, like okay, if someone's coming in for like a C-spine, for instance, uh, and they have usually people with neck problems, bulging discs, they have tingling in their hands, going down the right side, left side. You want to be very descriptive, like tingling in uh, neck pain, radiating down arm, right arm, tingling in hands for six weeks. You know, you got to be very specific, uh, certain injuries in the spine, you know, can cause, or head injuries, you know, they have head, head injuries, usually come around uh, with uh, dizziness, you know, blurry vision, that kind of stuff, headaches, so it's like, when they're doing this, you know, learn what scans go hand in hand with the sy symptoms, you know, like if someone has a hurt knee, I'm already thinking they're going to either have lateral, medial, you know, anterior pain, uh, instability, 
you know, stuff like that, man. You, you'll pick, you'll pick it up. It's experience, but notice these symptoms always go hand in hand on what you're scanning. You know, shoulder, oh, limited range of motion. You know, you know, weakness in arm. Like you start to know, expect, you know, what you're scanning. You kind of know what's going on. You know, so, you know, that that first week of externship, get familiar with the coils. Get familiar with talking to the patients, getting patient history, you know, uh, take notes, take pictures of the scans if you can, get a notebook, be very, very descriptive in your notes, uh, and also know that certain scans, you know, like say for the instance of brain, like if they have a history of MS, you want to do that, you know, sagittal flare, you know. If they had head trauma, you, you're going to want to do like a, I think it's like a coronal, uh, you know, stuff like that. Um, you know, just be alert, stay on your game, um, don't give up, it's going to be a hard week, externship, you know, hard first couple months, just, you know, the notes and knowing how the scans go. If you can take pictures, that'd be great, you know. Well, this wraps up that, uh, this video. Uh, please subscribe. I'm going to start doing more videos. I know I've been lagging it. Um, but more videos to come. All right, guys. Take care. Subscribe.